Right, we are going to have a go today at changing the navigation computer in our Range Rover Evoque. Now there might be, your child might have put a CD in here or a piece of toast or something instead of a DVD or CD and got it all jammed up. But this, this CD DVD player actually controls a lot of the infotainment system on your car. So we have been trying to upgrade our Evoque by adding these surround sound speakers here this and two in the back and we've done another video and we'll put the link up there brilliant thank you um but i couldn't activate the surround sound so what i did was i went on the land rover ecat parts catalog and i ordered by the engineering number a system a unit i'm trying to find the engineering number now um here we go that should have that's this six this number here this this engineering number here ending in AE should be the one of one an evoke or a Jag XF with a premium sound system. So I'm gonna see I couldn't update using my IID tool here or not there. Um I couldn't update it's plugged in still. I couldn't update to get the premium sound system working. So I think well what if I just change the whole module? And what would it do anyway? And people might want to change it anyway. And they're not coded to the car. Well certainly I've changed it on the range of a sport and they're not. So right, what are we going to do in this video? We are going to go and have a quick look in here, have a look what software level we've got. Um, so I'm going to go into the secret menu which is where you press and hold this hold and hold and hold and hold and hold and then when we get this we're going to remove this center console we're going to unscrew the old one and we're going to put the new one in that's what we're going to do hopefully so it'll ping in a minute we can there we go right so you there's some various things and we've done this before but I've looked through and there's not a lot that I can gain. The only thing I'm going to be interested in, interestingly, that's got a Jag there, because the one I got is actually out of a Jag. But interestingly, that even my original Range Rover one, when you go into the secret menu, shows a Jag. Um, software version, that's that's about the only useful thing I can get. Um, I can't even work out what what um, disks the navigation is, because actually the navigation software is held on here as well. So. I don't know if there's a date on this module. Can we see a date on there? What can we see? So in theory, if I install one from a new one, I might get some new maps on here. Who knows? Um, right, let's crack on. So let's turn that all off and let's start showing you how to remove this. So to remove this centre console, we did this years ago. There's two screws hidden up there. You may have to get out to get a good picture of this. Sorry. Oh. And there's a screw right under there. You probably can see absolutely nothing. And it's a bit of an angle. It's a Torx T20. Right, if I undo that, you can see the sort of angle it's at there. Oh, oh, God. Right, that's, that's what you're looking for there. Okay, so there's that. Right, I'll do the one on the other side. You don't want to watch me struggle. Right, this centre console here... Um, come out. One thing that George has commented on, we ejected the CD. So if you're going to swap it out, make sure you eject your CD. Um, otherwise, yeah, you'll lose that. Right. Um, going to pull this back up, but don't pull it too much because there's some connectors going onto this module here. Um, so we don't want to like rip it out, but let's get it off these now. There you go. Um, now if we have a look under there, George, you should see some connectors under here that are limiting my my travel let me see how much uh, the other thing you may be worth doing is i think you get a handbrake error, error once you disconnect it but it will clear after a few cycles so right uh, we'll stop it coming up there we... right so what you gotta do is press that little bit on the side of the connector there it should release that connector and then i've got the same deal on this side let me just grab a cam up and show you that's the same connector sort of deal there. You press that and then lift that up. So that's that. And then I think there's a third one under here somewhere. Right, the next connector is this one at the back here. But this one's a bit trickier. There's a little, there's a little red bit I've got to pull, pull down. See that little, it's sort of come out, but I'll put it back in the shot. And then I can, okay. We'll have a look at that now. Right, look. That then lifts out like that. Okay. 
So there's your one connector position there. There's your second connector position here. And this was the third one that I've, it's got like a little safety thing there. So, okay, so that actually just, yeah, you just gotta push that in. So there we go, that's all good, no damage done. Right, now we can see here our, our nav unit. So this is what we've gotta take out. So it looks like, I've never had one of these out. Looks like we've got the two screws retaining it here. I've just got, okay, so you've got these two screws here. The Torx T20 is still working. This is a one tool job so far. Okay, right, put that in the center console. I think they're the same as the screws from the back. Right, so what we're gonna do, I've got the other one here. So it's got these little sliders, so it's gonna slide out on rails. But then at the back, we've got a series of connectors we're going to have to take out. We've got the optical bus and these other ones. So let's have a look how much cable they're giving us on one of these. Oh, he's coming. There we go. He's giving us, he's giving us a bit, isn't he? Right, so let's work out. Let's pick the easy ones first. That blue one we can just press. The optical one, there's a little tab on the side. You got that there, George? Yeah. Right. Let's have the optical one out. Right. Then we got the grey one. That's it. And I'm just pushing all these little tabs down. That's all. Ooh, that's all straightforward so far. All right. That's giving us. Right now, you got to be careful with these Farquhar ones. How do they? There you go. There's a little tab at the back there. Yeah. So it's just at the, just at the very back there. Hopefully, you got enough light to see got to press that down there um, if you buy another one of these I bought these before I haven't checked this ah now immediately mine has got less connections look George we haven't got that connection there um, that's interesting we'll keep going and have a look right then let's have a look what we got here all right I think we've worked it out you've got to get your screwdriver on there we're on to two tools now you gotta push that in he says we thought we'd worked it out. There you go. Yeah, and by pushing that in, you lift this little, let me see if I can demonstrate that. You push the back of that down. Oh yeah, you can see it at the front there, can't you, George? See that moving up? Yeah. Yeah, so that releases it off this little thing here. So let's have a look at these two units. Um, see how well I've done. Right then. So we've got this connection. We've got the gray, the black, the thingy. But what we're missing is our two, so I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. Um, so there's a there's an example. So there's the engineering number off the one off my car. So I've got this BF6N18. Okay, that there. Well, I thought I'd check the engineering numbers. I'll double check. Well, let's plug it in and see if we've got a free CD anyway, shall we, George? See what happens. Right, I don't know what we're going to get out of this. I'll plug it in and we'll see. It's got Range Rover come up. No, I don't think he's happy with that, is it, George? Unsurprisingly. Um, my, you haven't said that. We haven't got the other bit plugged in, have we? We haven't got the centre console plugged in. But anyway, that's enough of that. That's a video. At least that shows you how to change your... And depending what spec car you've got, you've seen how to, to change that. So if you need to get it in and maybe dismantle it to get a CD out... Um, there we go. I will try and get another one and we'll do another. This is turning into quite a saga, me trying to update my Evoke. But there we go. We're having fun on the way. All right. Have fun.